welcome to Spatry's Cup of Linux. In this episode, I am going to discuss keeping children safe on the internet. Linux does a really nice job of this. There's a number of distributions that are available now uh, that are designed to do exactly that. Uh, earlier tonight, I was on DistroWatch and I saw that there was a distribution that was recently released called Doodoo Linux. Now, the term doudou is French for wubby, or a teddy bear that a child would hold on to at night when they go to sleep. It is does not mean doudou as in a crappy operating system. This is some good stuff here, so uh, pay close attention because I'm giving a quiz later on. Okay, first we're going to uh, go into our Linux, uh, and you can see here that there are a number of activities that uh, a child can uh, go into. Let's go into the first one. This is Discover the Mouse. Now, obviously, for an adult, this is absolutely pointless. Uh, I had an opportunity to uh, f fly around these things, just move the mouse on the screen, and it paints pretty colors, and it doesn't matter which mouse button you click it will draw funny little things on the screen. And uh, it's making funny little noises. The music on this, by the way, is beautiful uh, child's music and kinda cool. We can escape out of this. And then it will go into, we'll just take a look at another activity here. Then we have uh, another mouse game where equally pointless, but to a five-year-old this would probably be something that they would really enjoy. Okay. Alright, let's see what this one does. Uh, I need to disable uh, mouse integration. Maybe we can get better cooperation out of this. Here we go. Alright, let's try this one. Alright. And you just basically move the mouse over the screen and it will draw little pictures. And of course, nice little sound effects. You probably can't hear the sound effects because uh, I don't have this set up to uh, capture screen sounds. But, um, okay. Something that, that, uh, that, that the youngsters would really enjoy. then there's a suite of educational games here. Ah, Pac-Man. I've always liked Pac-Man. Computer. Okay, find the letters in the right order. And the word find is computer. Okay. Uh-oh. So let's go ahead and navigate to the correct letter. Oh, and it smiles when you do that. Okay, and it says the letter. Okay. Clearly meant to teach the kids how to spell stuff. Okay. And, uh, what's this one? Single play. Okay. Gosh, I remember having this game uh, back in the old days. Okay. This one's fun. This one involves sound. So the child has to listen to the sounds and then press another button corresponding. Now, obviously, you can't hear it, but just take my word for it. That's what it does. Also, they have the whole Doodoo Linux. Now, this has uh, a bunch of programs 
uh, available in tabbed areas and also um, it allows your child to access the internet. There are all kinds of programs here. Child's Play. Let's see what's in Child's Play. Ah, okay, we were at this program before, so apparently uh, everything is uh, in this one. Okay, and everybody remembers Mr. Potato Head, so have a nice little program that will and it's even saying what the parts are which is kinda cute okay very nice <laughs> oh gosh uh, okay and then for work we have a calculator so obviously the kids are doing their homework they have a nice little calculator there is a dictionary so that the kids can do their um, English homework and then of course a web browser all right now unfortunately this doesn't have a search bar but I suppose we could just type in something the kids would like to look at let's say Barney Guess we have to use Google. All right, now we can do a search for Barney. Okay, and then they have online games and activities, that sort of thing. But suppose we have a naughty child and they want to uh, visit something they're not supposed to see. Well, let's do a search and see if they can do that. And uh, let me think of something that um, children aren't supposed to see. I want to try and keep this uh, uh, podcast uh, PG rated here. Uh, okay, how about Rotten.com? We'll just look at the front page of it. This page is not appropriate for children, so it does block. Um, it does block and prevent children from uh, accessing pages that they're not supposed to. All right, and there's a bunch of other little activities. Um, I had a chance to actually play with some of these. Uh, this has. Let me see in multimedia here. There's a piano keyboard here where you can actually use uh, your typing keyboard as uh, a piano. There's also a neat little uh, music and uh, guitar notation uh, software uh, right here which will allow uh, children to compose their own songs and stuff. This is kinda cool so you can, in my case, I could pick out a guitar and you select the notes and you can actually um, go in here and compose little melodies. Kind of neat. Alright, and then I'm not going to actually compose anything. I just want to show you that it is here. There's a sound recorder. And then of course uh, movies and uh, a drum machine. A little advanced and uh, for the screen resolution, obviously, I can't show uh, all the controls, but uh, this is actually a cool program e that the adults would like to play with. All right, so there's a bunch of good stuff here. I recommend if you want to keep your kids safe that you could use this as an operating system for them. Just pop the disk in, turn on the computer, and let them play to their heart's content, knowing uh, that your child is safe and uh, 
I'll go ahead and I'll put a uh, link to this uh, in the show notes at the bottom of the screen. And there are some other alternatives as well. Mr. Google is your friend, so go and check it out. And thanks for watching.